Welcome back. It's it, been a bit. It has. But we're back with iTech Nation. I'm Susie Garcia, the iTech at Escamilla. And I'm Gregory Castile, Skills Specialist at Reed Academy. And today we are talking about organizing our digital lives. And some of us are going to need some tough love. Uh, yes, I think preparing for this reconfiguration, we all need to take a moment and reorganize our digital lives so that we can be prepared. So today's episode is going to be about our digital boot camp, and we're going to get you Google Drive fit. So I'm like taking all those files that I've shared with all my teachers, all my friends, and making them succinct and ready to disperse to new places. We are getting it all together and bundled nicely so that we can leave our campus and move on to our new reconfiguration campus without the dreadful thought of, oh, did I save that? Yeah. Do I have that file? <laughs> did I lose that flash drive? No flash drives with Google Drive. No flash drive, just Google Drive. So let's get started. All righty. All right, I'm thinking uh, once you first get into the Google Drive, you want to start with how do we name our folders? Uh, I think we all have lots of files that have been shared with us, that have been provided for us, uh, and we want to name them in a uniform way so that we can identify them quickly. Yes, because once you just start saving and saving and saving into your Google Drive, I mean, we have an unlimited amount of storage with our Aldine drives, yes. and it can get a little overwhelming. Because then, how are you going to find it? Where is it? I need to find this assignment that I did for the third nine weeks for this class period that was translated for my bilingual kids, how am I going to find it? So I think what I uh, try to share with my teachers is that uh, in naming your folders, you always want to start with what year you're working with. So if you have something, anything you've created this year, I put it in a 2018 folder and then work backwards. Uh, after the year, I move on to whatever subject area, whatever that content is. Uh, and then if there are any other separators or things that are going to make it more unique, uh, I can help out. I think I have one of them set up already. For example, right here we have my 2018 ELA folder, and this is all only going to contain Unit 1 information. So as soon as I click in there, I can right click, upload as many files into that folder as I need. Uh, and that way I have everything from this year that I've used uh, ready to use at home, on my phone, wherever I go, it is there with me. What? I can use it on my phone? Yes, that's like the best download ever. And even if you're one of those people that use that other product that look like, you know, the fruit or vegetable or whatever that is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Androids and Apples both are compatible with Google Drive on your cell phone. So do I have to drag and drop every single item? You do not. One of the great options is, again, if you right click, you can upload entire folders from your uh, computer or individual files. So you want to make sure and know that if you do all the work on your on your desktop, you can just take the whole folder up or multiple folders at the same time. But if you just have one or two like stray files hanging out, uh, you can place them in your drive in a particular folder. And a, a fun fact, whenever you are uploading a bunch, Control A will select all of the items that are in that group, and then we can upload all of that as well. Uh, so just to explain that, if I'm if I'm in my folders, I can go to Documents, can highlight one, Control A, all of those things are highlighted, and literally just drag them into my drive. Isn't that awesome? That's so much quicker than having to go through file by file. Yeah, especially when you start to think about how many years you've been on your campus and how much you've saved on that desktop computer that you've been using. Definitely when you save everything to the desktop, mm. which you should never do, people. Save the folders in your My Documents, please, and thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, but I've had a lot of stuff shared with me, and I don't know how to see it. Like, do I have to search for it every single time? No, you can actually, I think that was with this last upgrade, they a allowed us to start adding things to our uh, main window. So if you uh, click on Share It With Me, I have shared this Social Studies folder or someone else shared the social studies folder with me, I can right click and say add to my drive. And now, like magic, it automatically appears with all my other folders. Nice. So all of those people that are no longer in the district, have moved to other campuses, you may not remember exactly what it was called. As soon as they send it to you, 
right click add to my drive and you have access to it uh, on your main screen excellent so now you start to get your folders going we are trying to use a standardized naming convention so that they make sense yes um, the other thing would be oh man I've got a lot of folders right click and then we are going to change the color so asking me is red that works. red so for anything that I have that comes from my campus right I'm gonna color code as red so that I can quickly see red is Means, my campus right that's my content so I could set if I teach multiple subjects I could do it by subject if I do multiple years multiple people it doesn't really matter what convention you use as long as it makes sense to you yep okay. now someone was telling me about being able to use emojis in my folders I'm not sure how to do that could you show that to me so uh, there's a couple of different ways to put the emojis um, if you are on a device that has an emoji keyboard mm -hmm. when you go to rename it by right-clicking and renaming you would just put an emoji up in the front you can also use any of the Google Drive apps like slides or documents so let me go ahead and open up one and when you go to insert special characters mm -hmm. we have whoops not a footnote emojis wow and so now I just pick which one I want and copy and paste copy it and paste there. so ELA is the bomb so we're gonna we are put in a copy and paste. So why we teach two subjects <laughs> <laughs> oh my bomb went away so then I can just copy and paste the back bomb into the renamed folder and rename it so if we go to my drive I have a little Apple for anything that has to do with Escamilla. I've got a little uh, trophy for Escamilla's sports and a tiny Perfect. little laptop for my technology. For the technology. Forms. That makes a lot of sense. Again, just easier ways to be able to identify folders when you're moving quickly and trying to get all this information transferred. For sure. Okay. So I'm thinking invest now. Uh, and I know that throughout the year we go to all these trainings and we're supposed to collect all of these uh, certificates. Uh, well, first I want to go into ePortal, correct? Okay, let's go okay. to ePortal. Go to ePortal and actually download my certificates. Easiest way to get there, go ahead and sign in. And then we're going to scroll down to view all registrations. And then I have, since my first year in the district, and even some that I were still like in Woo! high school, <laughs> I go back to any year I've taught in the district and find a certificate for a training that I've gone to. Next to the word certificate, there's a magnifying glass. Once you click the magnifying glass, you can save it. Uh, this one was for my ELA skills meeting. I'll simply rename it ELA skills meeting. And at saving to my downloads folder. So now I have that fault, that information, that certificate saved. What would be your recommendation for how to get that into the Google Drive so I can have it? So one of the beautiful things about Chrome is that it's always going to throw your recently downloaded right onto the bottom. True. So I would just drag and drop right into my invest folder. And since we're going to follow the uh, babushka method of rushing nesting dolls, a folder within folder within folder, yes. drag it into your invest folder drag it into domain 4 and if you really want to throw another folder in here for certificates just so that you oh. have them all in one spot and we just drag and drop and now my information is saved so I can upload it whenever I need to and now we're there so now we have all these folders I have to put them into frontline and I don't want to put every single folder the way that it is or every single PDF. One of the great tools that we have at our disposal, PDF Candy. Yes. With PDF Candy, we can merge and compress a bunch of PDFs into one giant PDF. So once you finish downloading your 7,000 certificates, right. 
we can merge them together and then just re-upload as one. one file. So I think that we have one last thing for Google Drive, and that is, what do I do if it's a Microsoft Word? And I'm, yeah, because Google Docs doesn't always like convert well. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, the best thing I could show people to do is, you know, make the decision for yourself. So if I have a document that I'm trying to upload into my drive, go new, then upload file, let's use a Word document, okay? Upload it into your drive. It's automatically going to save as a Word document, okay? Once I open that document. And I can tell because it has a W. It has the, the blue W right there. If it's PowerPoint, it'll have the, what is it, P. orange? Yeah, the orange P. Yeah, the orange P. Uh, and it's just telling me that it is saved as a Word document. I can then open it in Google Docs, and this will automatically convert it. Or I can open it uh, in a converter file. It'll try to match it as best as it can. My suggestion is always to open as a Google Doc. And that way you can share it with others and they can make updates like it was originally created. So I don't have to send an email it to you six times? You do not. We, we're collaborating on I it? refuse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll refuse. make that into a Google Doc. Yes. And then, of course, if you just create it within Google Drive, then you don't have the problem of having to convert it. And it does work opposite. So if you create something in Google Docs, you can download it as a Microsoft Office uh, document. And same thing, just one step. Download as, as, and we're ready Even to go. Even PDFs, because I have a lot of people that want to save their work so that others can't uh, mess with it. Right. Yeah. So you can just download it directly in a PDF. And that works in all of Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Sheets, uh, all of their products. Well, I'm, I feel a little exhausted, so I think maybe this boot camp is working. I agree. <laughs> I, I am, I'm breaking some Google Drive sweat. All right. Well, I guess we should go play around with this a little bit uh, on our own. Uh, until next time, again, I'm Greg Castile uh, at No Teacher Like Me. And I'm Susie Garcia at Gadgets Garcia. And until next time, stay, stay techie. techie.